In the late 19th century, an era of industrial revolution, the world was undergoing a phase of rapid transformation. Countries were evolving, not isolated anymore, but now connected through various modes of transportation and communication. Railroads crisscrossed continents, steamships traversed oceans, and telegraph wires spanned across lands and under sea waters, turning the world into a global village. In the midst of this revolutionary period, France, a country rich in culture and heritage, was also evolving. Its capital, Paris, was emerging as a modern metropolis. Paris, with its picturesque landscapes and architectural marvels, was no more just a city in France, but was swiftly the heartbeat of the country's cultural and economic life. It was the place where art met commerce, where tradition intertwined with modernity. During this period of radical transformation, an extraordinary idea was born. It was the year 1886, and France was on the brink of hosting a significant event, the Exposition Universelle. This event was an international exhibition that was planned to celebrate the hundred years of French Revolution, a revolution that had sent shockwaves around the world and had significantly altered the course of human history. Leading up to this grand event, Gustave Eiffel, a French civil engineer known for his ingenious designs and architectural prowess, was assigned an unprecedented task. His company was entrusted with the responsibility of designing an iron tower, not just any ordinary tower, but a colossal structure that was to stand on the Champ de Mars, adjacent to the sparkling Seine River. This tower was expected to reach a staggering height of 300 meters, a monument that would not only symbolize the industrial age, but would also stand as a testament to human resilience, innovation, and the spirit of exploration, a monument that would symbolize the industrial age. The design of the Eiffel Tower was truly avant-garde. It was a marvel of architecture and engineering that would redefine the Parisian skyline and forever change the face of the city. It was a project of immense ambition, undertaken in an era when such structures were unheard of and executed with a level of precision and creativity that was truly revolutionary. The tower was to be constructed entirely of wrought iron, a material known for its strength and resilience. This choice was unconventional, as most structures of the period were built from stone or brick. Wrought iron, however, offered a unique combination of strength and flexibility that made it an ideal choice for the task at hand. The use of wrought iron also made the tower incredibly lightweight for its size, allowing it to reach heights that would have been impossible with traditional construction materials. Despite its impressive stature, the Eiffel Tower weighs less than a tenth of what a comparable stone structure would weigh. The design of the tower was bold and innovative. It featured large arches at the base, a feature that not only provided stability, but also created a visually stunning effect. The arches, each spanning over a hundred feet, served as the foundation for the tower, supporting the immense weight of the structure above. The arches also served a functional purpose. They helped to distribute the weight of the tower evenly, preventing any one area from bearing too much stress. This design feature was crucial in ensuring the tower's longevity and stability. Above the arches, the tower would rise in a series of stages. Each stage was smaller than the one below it, creating a tapering effect that added to the tower's aesthetic appeal. The stages were each meticulously designed and constructed, showcasing the attention to detail that was a hallmark of the project. Between each stage, there were platforms that offered breathtaking views of Paris. These platforms were an integral part of the tower's design, serving not just points, but also as venues for scientific experiments and demonstrations. The tower's design was a feat of engineering, a testament to the creativity and innovation of its architect, Gustave Eiffel. It was a perfect blend of form and function, a structure that was as beautiful as it was sturdy. The Eiffel Tower was a symbol of the technological advancement of the era, a monument to human ingenuity. The design culminated in a small platform at the pinnacle, a crowning jewel atop this iconic edifice. This platform represented the height of human achievement, a symbol of the audacity and vision of its creators. It was here that visitors would arrive after their ascent, greeted by panoramic views of Paris that were unrivaled in their beauty and grandeur. The construction commenced within the frosty span of January, during the late 19th century year of 1887. The fervor of ambition was palpable in the air as the intrepid builders braced themselves against the biting winter chill. 
The dawn of a new day marked the groundwork of a remarkable marvel in the world of architecture and engineering. The foundations, much like the dreams and aspirations of those involved, were dug deep into the unyielding earth below. The team bore into the stubborn ground, carving out a home for the four colossal iron legs that would support the towering structure. These legs, massive tributes to ingenuity and willpower, were painstakingly anchored into place. Their installation was a testament to the relentless determination of the people who envisioned this architectural marvel. Each leg erected against the backdrop of the winter sky was a symbol of mankind's insatiable desire to reach the heavens. The assembly of iron framework proved a daunting task, a Herculean challenge that demanded nothing less than perfection. This was an endeavor that involved the meticulous fitting of over 18,000 individual iron pieces, each humming with untold potential. Each piece played a crucial role in turning this dream into reality. Each was an essential cog in the machinery of innovation. The design and manufacturing process of these numerous pieces was a feat in itself. Each one was conceptualized, designed, and brought to life within the industrious environment of Eiffel's factory, situated on the picturesque outskirts of Paris. The city of love played a significant role in the birth of these pieces, nurturing them before they journeyed to the construction site. There, they were introduced to their new home and carefully fitted into their designated places, becoming a part of a larger, magnificent whole. The journey from Eiffel's factory to the site was not a simple one. It demanded careful transportation, precise timing, and skilled handling. It was a dance of logistics and planning. A testament to the immense foresight and organization that this grand endeavor required. Yet, despite the challenges, each piece found its place, each component slotted perfectly into the grand design, ensuring a successful construction. The construction began in January of 1887. The assembly of the iron framework was a complex task, involving over 18,000 individual iron pieces. Each piece was designed and manufactured to exact specifications in Eiffel's factory on the outskirts of Paris, then transported to the construction site and fitted into place. By March of 1889, the tower had reached its full height of 300 meters. This was more than just the erection of a structure. It was the realization of a dream, the culmination of years of meticulous planning and painstaking efforts. The tower stood as a beacon of triumph, serving to exemplify the indomitable spirit of both human ingenuity and French tenacity. This architectural masterpiece, brilliantly conceived and meticulously constructed, firmly placed at the helm of industrial innovation. The Eiffel Tower represented a revolution in engineering and design, and its completion signified a seminal moment in the annals of human achievement. As it soared towards the heavens, it spoke volumes about the determination of mankind constantly push the boundaries of what was considered possible. The Eiffel Tower was officially opened on March 31, 1889, during the Exposition Universelle. Gustave Eiffel himself ascended the tower and planted the French flag at its peak, marking the completion of this extraordinary project. In this video, we've journeyed through the historical context of the Eiffel Tower's conception during the Industrial Revolution, the design phase, and the intricate construction process. This iconic landmark is a symbol of Paris and an homage to the industrial age and human creativity. The Eiffel Tower signifies a crucial time in history, a period of rapid change and exploration. It stands as a monument to the power of vision, ingenuity, and sheer will. The Eiffel Tower, a marvel of the modern world, continues to inspire and captivate over a century after its completion. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel.